Hello everybody, I'm Gavin and this is the British Buttworm. So I'm jumping on here tonight and just doing a kind of like general chit chat rather than trying to do a book review. I'm currently reading a couple of books but I'm not really on here tonight to do a review. Just want to express a few thoughts, um, to be honest. So I've got on to what was formerly Twitter. I think it's just now X. And I've only been on there three or four days. And in all honesty, it's um, really disturbing how people are. You know, I feel like, I don't know if you are watching this agree with me, but I feel like we're at a crossroads in society now where moral values and people people's perceptions on themselves and how whether they're a good or person good person or not doesn't seem to really matter anymore um, like Twitter X X and obviously I'm on the topic of climate change at the moment by 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 a large amount of effort in researching it and in this entire time I still have an open mind to being corrected if I have made a mistake on this issue on what I feel and believe about it but coming on to Twitter or X as it's now called makes me see how terribly disturbing people are and it really it's really difficult to have a positive outlook to humanity when you can see it in the ecosystem of the effort of the internet and how people behave and talk to other people and the sheer lies and alarmism to do with global warming, global boiling on X is truly mind-boggling. I've only been on there four days, three days and I've just been watching and reading comments and seeing the amount of misinformation and deceitful content on there. Um, we're, we're at a really as a human race we're at a really dangerous crossroads and unfortunately because most people are just clueless to be quite honest with you people seem to be completely blinded to the fact that humanity is at a crossroads where human beings are being propagandized to a level that's never happened in the history of humanity in the whole of the history of, of the human race. On a daily level, every time you go on your phone and access the social media platforms, you're being brainwashed. You have it, you're having uh, so many lies and real delusions about reality thrown at you that it's difficult to really know how to address it because you literally cannot physically check everything you're being told. As somebody who's researched climate change for over a thousand hours up to date, it's really dis disturbing that there's people who are just literally so driven to a cause or an agenda like the Stop Oil Crew and Roger Mallam and people that are on this X page who push just gigantic amount of propaganda and lies. To the to to a degree that's just come like it's it's just incredible and I don't know what's wrong with people. Can you not see? Can you not see out there that this is just propaganda? Can you not see what propaganda is? Do you not recognise propaganda? And uh, look, there's propaganda on all sides of every topic, but having the open mindedness to actually look at topics really largely in a 360 degree circle and weigh the truth up on topics as best as you can is what every one of you should be doing. Just to assume that climate change, global boiling is true because of what you're being told on all these platforms. It's the highest level of stupidity that I've ever seen in my life. And I'm finding it, for me personally, I can't it no longer just keep my mouth shut on it. The evidence that there are nefarious things going on in regards to climate change, global boiling, 
the scientists have changed data, lied. The institutions that were once the highest caliber have changed facts, data, graphs. It's The evidence is all over the topic. But all you lot out there that are pushing that agenda, you don't have seem to have any remote concern. And this is a question to you. You don't seem to have any remote concern. What if you're wrong? What if the consequences of what you are proposing and pushing onto society en masse literally destroys the world economy and kills tens of millions to hundreds of millions of people through lack of energy and through starvation and through all the issues you seem to you just don't seem to understand the importance of the human energy systems the power grid like i'm going to suggest to you you try to live a week on 80 percent less energy than you are living on today that means turning your fridge off that means not going to work in your car or having your mobile phone permanently on watching this video so all of you advocates all of you believers in climate change global boiling I'm, I'm i'm putting a test out to you i'm challenging you why don't you turn your phone off and your telly off and your fridge and freezer off 80 percent of the time because that's the facts that's the science that every human being on the planet needs to reduce the energy footprint footprint by 80 percent to get down to this ridiculous idea of net zero but while you're all pushing your bull crap onto your posts permanently, pu pushing post after post after post on X and all the propaganda videos on YouTube that put, put this massive authority fallacy on the science and the consensus of science, while you're all doing that, you don't seem to be, you seem to be absolutely oblivious to the pure consequences of what you are talking about. To reduce human emissions by by the, the, the amount that's being asked for, to go to net zero, we have to reduce over 80% our individual usage. I don't think you can even grasp what that means. How many of you people in Stop Oil have gone out camping for a week and lived with no electric energy at all? I very much doubt hardly any of you have any idea what you're asking. And you keep pushing and pushing and pushing the agenda over and over again with your stupid posts and your propaganda and your alarmism and your stupid interviews with your neurotic body language and stupid facts. This is not consensus and this is not settled. And if you even remotely, remotely pulled your head out of your arse and looked at the facts and looked at how there is a very nefarious agenda at work which is wanting to create a centralized power which is using global boiling to create a one world government and if you can't comprehend that if you think that's a conspiracy theory you are the problem because you have no critical faculties you don't have the ability to look at the facts, to look at historical issues relevant to the topic, to look at the United Nations, to look at the IPCC, to look at the people who set it up. It's you are the problem. You are the ones. You are the ones who are unable to think past this little narrative that you're living in. CO2 is this pollutant. It's about time you woke up because in the future you may be the person and the group of people, of zealots, who have literally killed tens, if not hundreds of millions of people because they didn't have cheap, free energy. Think about that.